Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to take an overview of work items in Team Foundation Server 2013. There are total nine work items types in uh, Team Foundation Server 2013. That's by default. And let's take a look on each of them. Here's my uh, Visual Studio, and I'm connected to my Team Foundation Server. So um, when you click on home button right here and if you're not over there you can click on home button and this menu will appear which is pending changes work items reports setting builds and source control explorer so uh, since in this video we're going to take an overview of work items we're gonna go ahead and click on work items and up here um, we wanted to know that how many work items and what they can do is you click on little arrow up here a new work item and there are nine work items as I said before so first work item um, in Team Foundation 2013 is bug if you uh, creating if you're writing a code and uh, the tester uh, started testing your um, code and there there is a bug in that code that will be uh, labeled as work item bug and if uh, there is a new project started by your uh, project manager or uh, your team lead and uh, there is a particular task that you wanted to create a task and assign it to a person you create work item called task and the requirement if you just starting a new uh, project and you wanted to uh, put requirements out there as a work item in team foundation server you click on requirements and change request if uh, you have developed a, a piece of software or a piece of code and uh, you wanted to change that to for some sort of uh, functionality then you put a change request or you might want it to put as a change request in a in a way that you wanted to make your changes move your changes from one place to another place and the feature is that let's say that you have a, a working software and um, you wanted to add a new feature to that particular working software uh, and um, you create work item called feature so that um, it'll be uh, you know it'll when you click on feature it'll give you all the tools related to the existing code and whatever the changes that you wanted to make in order to uh, install that feature or in order to have that feature in that particular software issue again if you have uh, working software and there's a um, you know it's going through some testing and there are some issues related to that uh, particular uh, source code you're gonna create a work item called issue review let's say that you have uh, the code out there and it's ready to go in production or it's ready to go in testing but you want your team or your team lead or whoever the tester is to review that um, particular software or source control uh, source code in uh, source control which is TFS you can create a work item review and assign it to that particular person and risk also you can um, when you create risk work items you can keep track of these work items um, and uh, risk would be one of them and it's very important that uh, what uh, the risk is going to be if you put that particular ch piece of code in that particular uh, software and uh, test cases you can create different test cases uh, for your testers in order to have your code fully tested before you go in production so this was the quick overview of work items um, default work items available in uh, team foundation server 2013 and I'll be going through actually creating uh, the work items different work items uh, at uh, a different time in my uh, coming videos so stay tuned and I hope it helps